Good evening. Good evening, Eduardo. Hello, Nestor. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Hello, Eduardo. Hi, how are you? I'm uh, doing okay. I, I have a doubt. Yes. Yeah. I, have, I have a doubt. And uh, you can use siblings. Sibling is is in well, not not in my case. In in another case that they only have one brother, he can say, "My sibling." No. Don't. Um. No, because if you only have one brother, you literally say, yeah. "I have a brother." If you have a brother. sister, you yeah. use the same word, sister. Right. Yeah. So someone can ask you, "Hey, Eduardo, how many siblings do you have?" I only have one brother. I only have one sister. Uh, right. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, siblings is more useful when when you have both bro uh, exactly. brother and sisters. Exactly. When you have both. When you have yeah. brothers and sisters. That is correct. Right. Yes. Yeah, but that, that word is, is not is not is not is not so common, isn't it? To, uh, to, yes, it to, is. To use it. Yes, it is. Um, it is? It's, a, it's okay. a very common word. So uh, the thing okay. is that in Spanish we say, Mire usted tiene hermanos. Uh, and, the, and the person says, I, I got, tengo dos hermanas y un hermano. So, but in English, uh, if you want yeah. to make it sound like brothers and sisters, you need to say uh, siblings. Yeah. Yes. All right. You, so You have siblings. I, I have three brothers. Okay. I have three brothers. Right. Okay. All um, right, good. Hello, Alma Brisa. Hello, teacher. How are you? Nice. Hi, teacher. Good. Um, I'm hungry. Okay. I, I take a coffee only. Okay, good, good. Okay. All right. Persabe, how are you today? Okay. Noe, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher. How are you? I'm doing really? okay. How was your day, Noe? Um, very well. Very well. Uh, productive? Uh, yes, productive. So tiring, but um, it's finished. <laughs> good, good. Sarai, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Sarai? Yeah. How was your day, Sarai? Did you have a good day? Yes, I have a very busy. Okay, good, good. All right, so let's begin. Uh, what is today's date? Today is Wednesday, Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday. 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 Uh -huh. uh, uh, 30, uh, 30, 30, 30, September 30th. 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 Yes, September 30th. Right, right. And what's the year? Mm. 2020. 2020. That is correct. Very good. All right, so um, let's talk briefly about the topics we covered yesterday. Um, do you remember the topics we spoke about? Uh, we um, continue we working with examples about present continuous passive. Okay, uh, with the present continuous passive, yes. Passive. Okay, passive. Uh, do you remember the two components that are mandatory when you're using the passive voice? Anybody? Subject plus is are um, past participle. Okay, so, verb. right, right. So you so always you need to include <laughs> the verb to be and the past participle of the verb. Those are two, two things that are uh, mandatory. Okay, um, any questions or comments about the passive voice? 
No. 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 Okay, so let me. Let me share with you guys. Uh -huh. Right here. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problem. Can you hear the audio? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, so yes. I will put you on mute so we don't have any distractors or interruptions from anybody. So I will put you on mute. So pay attention to the audio and take notes if you wanna take notes. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries the landfills have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So, what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. But many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Okay, uh, you can unmute yourselves. So what is she talking about? Are you okay with the listening or do you want to hear it one more time? Please, one more time. Okay, here we go. Pay attention. Yes, teacher. All right, good. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Write each problem in the chart. One, Jenny. You know, I've been reading a lot about the problem of landfills, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way of disposing of trash is by burying it in landfills. The problem is that in many countries, the landfills have already been filled up and it's hard to find places to start new ones. No one wants a huge landfill anywhere near their neighborhood. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution, but many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. All right, who can paraphrase? Who wants to tell me what she said? She was worried about the landfills. Okay. Uh, landfills are holes that people dug to to dispose of trash. Right. Okay. And, and and what is the solution she proposes for this particular problem? To recyc to recycle. Recycle. Uh, recycle this the stuff um, uh, that. We, we produce um, to, to decrease the amount of stuff that in the landfills. Exactly. Now, according to what she said, what's the opinion of people about landfills? Are people happy with having landfills near their homes? No, they don't oh, want like... to have a, a landfill mm -hmm. near 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 uh, their houses. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, and she proposes that people should start recycling. Yes. Recycling, recycling. Okay, very good. Anybody else wants to say something else about the first audio? Yeah, no? but in case, in case of re or recycling in our home, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you can recycle is the plastic. Okay. All right. Yeah, things how how you're going to recycle the the other things, for example, uh, uh, the paper. The paper, yeah. How you, you do that? You could, but it takes work, and yeah. and it takes for yeah. the person to be very disciplined. Like after you yeah, finish exactly. eating, you know, you have to separate. Okay, this is plastic. This is paper. This is organic. 
So you can do it, but it yeah. takes time and, and, and discipline. Right. Yeah, yeah you are, you say the truth. Okay. And we, with our culture, it would be very difficult. Right. Now, does the company where you work, do they recycle? Do they apply recycling? Try. Yes, we, we have a, a trash for plastic, trash for paper. And um, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. To in my company, we re recycle. Recycle. Uh huh. Recycle the paper. Okay. Good. Put good. And, and recycle the paper. Okay. Good. Good. And sell. <laughs> right. Right. Now, what kind of material can people recycle? Plastic. 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 Paper. Paper. Metal. 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 Yes. Metal. Metal too. Yes. Metal. Metal. Aluminum. Wood. Uh, yes. Wood. Wood. Glass. Organic waste. Rubber. Rubber. Wood. Glass. Yeah. Rubber. Wood. Uh -huh. Wood. Wood. Yes. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. So uh, uh -huh. you can recycle many, many things, different types of material. It's just about being a little bit more organized and more disciplined yeah. so we could help the planet. Yes, yeah. you're right. Well, all right, so let's check the second one. Here we go again. Two, Adam. I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Okay, do you want to hear it one more time? I think it's okay. Okay, listen. So, so let me play it one more time cycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two, Adam. I can't believe it's become dangerous to get a suntan. What is this world coming to? Well, the sun has never been good for you, but it's really dangerous now. You see, the ozone layer, which helps protect us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, has been damaged by pollution in the air. When the ozone layer gets too thin, it can cause an increase in skin cancer and other problems. But is there anything we can do to solve the problem? Sure. One of the biggest threats to the ozone layer is cars, the exhaust gases from cars. The best way to save the ozone layer is to drive less. So in many places, people are being asked to carpool. Three. Katie. Okay. So let's let's talk about what he said. What what is he talking about? They're talking about the ozone layer. Okay. Uh, how, uh, in our age, how how dangerous is uh, the sun for us? Because it can make uh, cancer. Uh, skin cancer, right? <laughs> right, skin cancer, right. So uh, according to the conversation, what is one of the main factors why the ozone layer is, is suffering? For the cars. Cars. The cars. 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 Exactly. For the cars. Uh -huh. And what is the solution he uh, suggests? Carpool. 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 Yes. Now, yes. do you guys remember the meaning of carpool? Yes. Yes. What's the meaning of if, carpool? If you uh, want car for 
sharing, uh, sharing with sharing others. Car, yes. Right, right. So imagine that uh, uh, Eduardo and I, we live in the same place, in the same neighborhood, and we work in the same company. He has a car, I have a car. So it doesn't make sense to be using two cars. So we organize and we say, let's carpool. So one week he drive his car and the other week I drive mine. So that is carpool, yes. Okay, um, any questions or comments? No, it's clear. Okay, and let's check the last one. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve. But basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Okay, so what are they talking about? Anybody? It's about water They're pollution. talking about water pollution. Okay, which water pollution? The drinking water. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. Like the, the, the lakes and rivers. Okay, yes. And uh, um, so what are they suggesting? What are they planning on doing? Uh, she said could be uh, the companies uh, be more careful with the treatment of the product. Okay. Of the under disposal. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Do you remember this word that I'm writing in the chat right now? Littering. Littering is part of Salvadoran culture. So imagine that I'm drinking a, a Pepsi, a, a Coke, whatever. I finish drinking it, but there is no garbage can. So what do I do with the bottle, with the container? I throw it on the ground. That is littering. Do, do you understand the word littering? But uh, how you can, yeah. Yeah, but how, how, how you can use that, that word in a sentence? Okay, for example, when you arrive to countries like the United States, England, where they are uh, concerned about the environment, uh, they, they might okay. tell you, look, littering is not permitted here. So when they say littering, they're talking about, okay. you know, throwing garbage where you're not supposed to. Yeah. So, so yeah. if you go downtown San Salvador, littering is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Not in, only in, in the whole country, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it, it's part of Salvadoran culture, but some places are very clean. They're, they're, they're cleaner than, than San Salvador. So, okay. Um, any questions or comments about the audios? No? Uh, no, it's okay. All right, good. So let's go to our next activity. You guys will be applying um, reading. Okay, can you see the picture? Yes. Okay, where is this picture? Where is it? They are in the, the, um, the um, disposal the pipeline. Okay. All right. What do you see in the background? What's in the back? A Ocean. factory. A factory. A factory uh -huh. uh, making a river. The fish. Water needling. Uh-huh. What look happens like, with the fish? It looks like. Uh, the fish uh, dead. Are okay. Dead. 
Why why are the fish dead? Why are they dead? About the pollution. The pollution. About pollution. pollution. The river pollution. Okay. Now, who do you think is responsible for this pollution? Any ideas? Maybe we, the factory. The human. Yes. <laughs> Maybe the factory. Okay. The industry. Right. Industry in general. Markets, factories, uh, different things. Okay. So, um, any questions about the picture? No? Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs so you can um, practice your reading uh, skill. Create rooms. Okay. Recreate, recreate, and here we go. I sent you the image to the WhatsApp chat, but if you want, you can take a screenshot from here right now, if you want. Uh, picture with my phone. Do you have the image? No. no it's have there. Okay, let me take it with you. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. You want to take a screenshot? I took it right now. Okay. Are you guys in the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Okay. All right, so start with the reading practice. Executives. Executives. Uh, sec executives. Executives, executives. Yes. So, okay. you, so in that case, you better be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible this thing, but it's true. But, but uh, according to to this art, then how do you say it? utilities? Utilities. Uh, utilities mm -hmm. for the com for our for our company is more important the utilities. Okay, and they, mm -hmm. I think I, they ignore the law about uh, the uh, pollutions because yeah. uh, uh, maybe the law is, is... By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh no, my uncle is one of their top executives. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Forget it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't mention anything. <laughs> don't mention. I'm inspecting my uh, herencia. Uh, heritage. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm waiting for my heritage. So <laughs> I'm waiting for my heritage. So. Okay. Don't, don't say a word, please. Exactly. <laughs> 
the TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh no, my uncle is one of their top executives. Good. Okay, no. Oh. Okay. We're done. Okay, uh, any questions or comments about uh, pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? Yes, I have. What, what is the meaning of pumping? Uh, where, where is the word? It is, well, there is a factory of outside town that it's pumping chemical in okay. like in the oh, or pumping road. chemicals. Pumping means to throw something. It's the action? Yeah, it's an action of putting something into something else. Like for example, when you go to a gas station, you pump gas. So you're putting gas in the car. So that is oh, pump. okay. Yeah, chemicals. So, so you need, but you also need another object to do the action. Right. Right. Or I can, right? Okay. Okay, thanks. Yes, so you need to mention what you're talking about. Right. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No. No? Are, okay. Fine. All right. Very good. We're almost going back to the main session. All right. Any questions or comments about the reading, about pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? No? Okay. So imagine that you have this river near your house under the same circumstances. What solution would you take? How we have a house. <laughs> uh huh. What else? Maybe. Um, Alma Brisa? Uh, in my case, is uh, present my the situation the to institution uh, their uh, beauty problems. If, uh, with using the love okay uh, uh -huh, specific for for that problems and okay try to resolve us uh -huh. okay good another solution to solve this problem anybody okay so le let me show you something When you are, where is this? Where is this? Uh, my goodness, what, where, what did I do with it? Um, 
Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so when you are discussing problems and you are looking for solutions, answers to that particular problem, people usually use infinitive clauses and phrases. So um, this, this is just an example. This says one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now about the river, about the river pollution. One way to help the river is to speak with people that live near the river. Or you can say one solution uh, to solve the problem is to make people more conscious about the situation. So mm -hmm. remember, when you're talking about infinitive clauses, infinitive means when you use a verb and this verb needs to have uh, the preposition uh, to. So mm -hmm. can, can you mention social problems in, in, in San Salvador or El Salvador in general? The, the air pollution. Uh, pollution. Yeah, but the, but our, the river pollution. Okay, but when you say pollution, because the, there are different types of pollution, which yeah. pollution are you talking about? The air pollution. Air pollution. Um, noise pollution. Exactly. Okay, let's um, talk about noise pollution. What would you suggest to solve uh, noise pollution by using infinitives? For example, it should be a rule uh, not allow public transportation uh, go inside uh, residential town. Uh, okay, so you could say one way to reduce yes. to reduce uh, yeah. noise pollution is not permitting public transportation to go near houses. That would be a good idea. Okay, anybody okay. else? Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. So remember, when we're talking about infinitives, we're talking about one way to reduce, one way to help, one way to increase uh, employment. So when we're talking about infinitives, we're using uh, to plus the verb. Any questions or comments? One way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. No questions, no comments? No. No. Okay, so let's go to the speaking section. Um, can you think about one action that you do every day? Eat. Eat, okay, what else? Take a shower. <laughs> Take a shower, uh-huh. I think. Uh-huh, yeah, <laughs> we hope. Check my email. Okay, check your email, very good. What else? In Drink sleep. coffee. Drink, Drink coffee. coffee. Okay. Yeah. Sleep. Check the WhatsApp. Sleep, check what's up. Uh-huh. Drive. Drive. Watch TV. Watch TV. Read. Okay, read. Talk. Talk. Okay. Work. Work. Okay, so there are many things that uh, that people are expected to do every day. So uh, Erica said shower, and that's exactly the topic. That is the topic, shower. So what comes to your mind when you hear the word shower? Water. <laughs> water, exactly. Only soap. water, soap. Here. Soap. Up. Soap, shampoo. Shampoo. Uh-huh. Bathroom. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Bathroom. Yeah, and, and some people have... Uh, okay. 
and, and people have certain uh, traditions when they take a shower, maybe they play music, maybe they have a small television near them mm. or or they they take a shower with their cell phone near or, or, or singing in a shower. Singing in the shower, exactly, right? That's another one. And here we go. Do you see the questions? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to send the questions to the WhatsApp chat again. If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead and do it. And let me reassign you once again. Recreate. Do you like talking about? Do okay. you like talking about show? All right. So move to room two. All right. So let's do this, do people. Like Uh, from last year so when when uh, for the pandemic everybody had to study uh, online uh, we were used to to do it all right yeah we're not on each other teacher what is what? it we are knowing each other it's the first time that we have been in a group oh or really in a room Yes. So it's yes. your first time working together? Oh, yes, of course. Good, That's very good. That's right. Get yes, to we, know each we, other. Yes, we were talking about, uh, we, we, we have been studying uh, on this way before the pandemic. So oh. when, when everybody had to study online, we were used to study. Exactly. Okay, good. Good to know. Use the warm water, you know. I don't like, I hate it. I I, <laughs> I, I, I love the water when it's really cold. Really? Oh, okay. yeah. Wow. No. I don't like it. I no. don't I like it, it cold. I, like oh. it I hate, I hate cold water. <laughs> we live in a hot country. I mean, just, we don't have a, a very good weather. Uh, we don't have uh, 18 or 16 degrees. Uh, yes, to, I'm... to need warm water, at least in my case. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. but if I'm taking a shower with water very cold, uh, I have head headache. Headache. Yes, headache. 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 Oh. headache. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everybody yeah. reacts different. 
That, yeah, for, yes. that, that, for, <laughs> for that reason, I'm <laughs> taking a shower with warm water. With warm water, okay. With water. Okay. Chai. Um, I take a shower with, uh, how do you say, barril? <laughs> barrel. Barrel. Okay. Barrel. With cold yeah. water. With cold water. Oh my yeah. goodness. What time do and you I, shower, Sarai? And I cry and cry and cry, but my father say, say to me, uh, take, take a shower. A shower. Yes. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> but in in this uh, moment and in my house, I have a, a water, uh, water, cold, uh, water, 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 water. Yes, and I take a shower, relaxing showers. Good, good. In my case, um, all the time I put my um, mezclador. Mixer, mixer, uh, the the water cool and and hot, and hot, and, hot. and, and I try to the warm is uh, relaxing because uh, it's a uh, custom, teacher. What did you say, custom? Custom, 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 custom to take a shower with warm water. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I have... It's for my age. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's your age. You know, I have the same uh, situation here at home. We have hot water on the second floor, but I think there is a, a, a connection problem that when I activate the hot water, okay. it, it goes it off. Is. It goes <laughs> off. It disconnects. So... I have to bring someone to check uh, the connection again. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, hot water is, is, is good. It's good. It's the better. Sometimes, but, but the, the, to depend the... Uh, the temperature? The, the temperature. The weather? The weather, yes. Yes. Weather. Yeah. When, when the weather is hot, it's better uh, uh, use the cool water. Exactly. Okay. If it's raining like right now, oh, hot water oh. is so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I also would like to have like, um, maybe a bathtub, I think it's the name. Mm -hmm. A bathtub. Yes. A bath yes, it is. So, uh, yes, that could be like really in interesting for me. Um, well, in my case, the bathtub by now, I think it's okay. It's, it's a, it's a good compliment. Um, yeah. but, but I think maybe in 20 or 30 years it will be to me very difficult to use it, you know, because when we get old, you <laughs> to take a shower, True. you need to, to walk into the bathtub. So for now, maybe it's okay, but later I need to remove it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You know, that's an important factor that, you know, we're getting older each day. Yes. So we have to think about how we will take baths in the future. Yep. Absolutely. The knees. <laughs> right, right, right. Yep. Let's see. Hello, teacher. Hello. Why is this funny? <laughs> Which Why one? Why is this funny? The, the that, that we are in, 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 in the number 10. Okay. The comedian Woody Allen say, basically, my wife was immature. Uh-huh. I'd be at home in the bath and she'd come in and see my boat. Uh-huh. Uh, why, I, is I <laughs> why is this funny? Why is this funny? Okay. Uh -huh. Why is this funny? Basically, what? my wife was being So, huh? you, you're in, he, he's in the bath, you know, relaxing and everything. But the girl came 
and she would sink his boats. Un día sus barcos. Yeah, but what 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 does that mean? What what did he try to say with that? Uh, like she would push him down. She would push him down. Like 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 to say hey, 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 like to say hey, 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 hurry up or something like that. Uh, maybe maybe but maybe only he knows what he meant when he thought that the girlfriend was immature you know so mm. so mm. they get they got their own uh explanation so okay. you finish all the questions yes all right so we're almost going back to the main session I see only your hair. Yeah, I, well, I, I couldn't enter in, in, in the, what, what is, what we have to do, do now. Okay, we're back in okay. the main session. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So are you happy with the bathroom you have right now? With the shower that you have? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. If, if you could make changes, what changes would you make? 
I will mm. replace the curtain with a slicing, slicing door. Okay, good, good, good. And, and improve the, the light. All right, good. The illumination. Okay, good. Okay. And, Any... may, and maybe, sorry, and maybe install a warm water. Maybe, but. Okay. But uh, for me, it's fine. Uh, All right. Uh, right now. Okay. Would somebody make it more spacious? Would you include more room in your bathroom? In the shower? <laughs> Herbert, you would? Yes. For oh, sure. Television. A television. Okay. <laughs> It's not the way, but yeah. Okay, do you think the shower should be ventilated? Yes. Of yes, course. of course. Of course. Yeah, mm. it has to be ventilated. Yeah, but not much because not much because if you have to take a shower at uh, 5 a.m. in the December or January <laughs> The weather it is will be very, very cold. cold. You you freeze. <laughs> yeah, you will freeze. You will freeze. You will, you will For men, it's your, not good. Your behind will be freeze. <laughs> <laughs> like the paleta. <laughs> the, you will need need my uh, my warm uh, water. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a, an option. Or like if if, he, if the shower is ventilated, maybe hot water would be the solution. But not everybody likes hot water. So no, anyways. Not for me. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and, and especially when you take a shower with cold water, that is good for your skin. You know, you keep your skin healthier. Yes. So yes. really? <laughs> yeah, you know, cold water maintains your skin uh, healthier in, in better conditions. Yes. Yeah. And with less arrugas. Wrinkles. Less wrinkles. wrinkles. Less some wrinkles. people some people lose their, their hair because so, of the hot water. Yeah, exactly. Some people lose their hair because of the hot uh, uh, water. The, the water. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but remember, now uh, understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody reacts different. You know, like I can put uh, hot water in my hair and I wouldn't lose anything. But other people, they lose <laughs> hair. It's true. But 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 that people do it every day. Right. That's the thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think in other in other countries is more necessary yeah, for the country. weather. Like mm -hmm. in Mexico, the the weather is it's cold. cold. Right. Very, yes. very cold. Right. Right. True. Okay. So, um, any questions or comments about showering? Uh, I have a question. It's not about showering, okay, but Herbert. it's it's about the question number ten. I don't know why that phrase is funny. Can you okay. please explain me? Uh, okay, when they, <laughs> you know, that one can have have. How can I explain this one? Uh, okay, when that's a, tough. When, huh? when a when a child goes to the bathroom, you know, sometimes uh -huh. they play with with what they do, you know? So they sink, <laughs> the, they sink the boats, they sink the boats. That is one, but maybe in this case, maybe he was referring to someone else. Maybe she was pushing him uh, to the bottom of the, of the bathtub. So only he knows what exactly he meant when he said that expression. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. And and do you know in what uh, movie uh -huh. you say that or what's a phrase? Just no, it, phrase. it was it's a real phrase. It's a it's a you know uh, he said uh, different expressions, different phrases that were real. So it yeah, was he he is very famous for that. I know. Right. But I mean, if that phrase come from a movie or it's just a phrase? No, it, it's a phrase that he told people about his girlfriend. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I, I understand. Yes. Okay. All yes. right. He's very, he's yes. very, a little weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's, it's the same like in Spanish, you know, like <laughs> we use vocabulary <laughs> that is similar to that particular <laughs> situation. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any other any other questions or comments before you go to sleep? How you say lavamanos? Uh, sink. 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 Okay. Yeah, sink. Sink. Sink right. with F. Yeah, okay. S I N K. Lavamanos, but it also means hundir. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, any other questions or comments? No. No, teacher. I'm good. Okay, so no, teacher. once again, thank you very much for your time making the space. Thank you. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. Bye, bye. 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 bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.